The success that you want to attain in life literally comes down to the beliefs that you have in yourself. So today we're going to talk about how to build self-confidence and we're getting started right now. What is up my winning friend? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to reach your potential and crush your goals, start right now by hitting subscribe and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. I grew up without a father, so I always wanted to fit in with other people. I wanted acceptance and love for other people. And I always did things to fit into crowds, probably crowds that I had no business belonging to. Um, so that kind of carried on with me my whole entire life because I lost my father at seven. That's when this began. And I was always a good kind-hearted person my mother taught me to love she was the most loving person that I've ever met in my life and I love people but I love them so much that I want to be accepted by other people I want to be liked by other people and you can't always be liked by everyone you know no matter how good of a person you are you're always going to be disliked by certain people and that's okay I've learned to accept that over time so growing up, you know, I led myself down a horrible path, got involved in drugs, and ended up going to prison for five years of my life total. I did four years flat, got out for a little bit, and went back for eight months, and then got out finally for good. This last time when I went in, it was 20 days before my twin sons were born. That's what changed everything for me. So when I came home, you know, my goal was to not go back to prison and to be a responsible father because I never had a father and I wanted to be there for my children. And I just miss them being born. You know, that that hurt. You know, I can't explain how that really felt. You know, I was crushed and I had to deal with it for eight months thinking about this constantly behind walls. And when I came home, you know, I had, I, I made a resolve. I was not going back and I was going to do whatever it took to provide for my family. The only problem was, is that I didn't know how. You know, I couldn't get a job anywhere because of my felony conviction record. And I was getting shot down left and right. And I just didn't have this confidence in me because I didn't know what to do, but I was committed to making it happen. And I got this opportunity in network marketing. And at the time, I didn't even know what the hell network marketing was. So you couldn't even scare me off with the word pyramid scheme. But I got involved with that and in there during that which, you know, I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I had mentors showing me to how to build this business. And when I got that first paycheck with my name on it, it did something for me. It it wasn't about the money because it was a $15 check. It, it, it showed me though that, hey, I could do this. You know, I, I'm not doomed because of my past mistakes. I can react pro, uh, respond proactively instead of reactively now. And so it did something for my self-confidence and, and that continued to build it. I went on to build almost a $2,000 a month income in network marketing within my first six months. And that was a game changer. Yeah, that wasn't a lot of money. It wasn't rich by any means, but for someone like me, they couldn't even get a job anywhere. Almost $2,000 a month was a game changer, you know? And it wasn't about the money though. What it did for my self-confidence, I can't even I can't even explain in words. And now I feel like I can take on anything, you know? And I'm no longer in network marketing anymore because that led me to where my true passions are in life. But that led me to write a book, you know? I mean, like, <laughs> before that, I didn't know. I thought you had to know someone that knew someone that knew someone to write a book. And then I learned that you could self-publish, and I did it. You know, I just wrote a book. I don't. I never even passed school, but I wrote a freaking book. You know, I, I got all D's and F's throughout school because it just couldn't hold my attention. But now that I had this self-confidence, I was able to write this book out with no problem within a month's time. Sent it off, got it edited, published on Amazon. You know, and that showed me that hey, I can do this. Whatever I set my mind to, I just got to put in the work. You know, and it's led to me becoming a tr transformational speaker because I have this message, this story that I want to share with the world and I want to transform lives in the process. I want to contribute to something bigger than myself. I want to push humanity forward. That's my mission in life. That's my goals and my desires. And, it, and if I didn't have this self-confidence, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. You know, you have to build that belief in yourself. How you view yourself, your self-image, is literally going to determine whether you're going to be a failure or a success. If you believe that you can't do something and that you're just a failure, 
you're always gonna fail, but if you believe that you can and that there's a way, you're gonna figure it out one way or another. So let's talk about some ways that you can build self-confidence. You know, one of them would be to, you know, dress apart. Whatever career field that you choose or whatever, it doesn't have to be suit. Whatever clothes that make you feel good and confident about your abilities, wear that. I remember the first time that I wore a suit, I just felt really, really good. Now, mind you, I hate wearing suits now. They're very uncomfortable. Uh, but the first time I wore it, or any time that I do wear a suit, I feel really good, you know, emotional-wise and confident-wise because I'm looking sharp, I'm clean, and I, I'm dressed like a successful person. Now, I don't always wear suits. I got other clothes that I just, you know, feel good. It makes, you know, it, it shows off good parts of my body that I like, whatever. Whatever these clothes, for you that make you feel good about yourself, wear those that will help take that confidence and give you that extra edge. Another way to build self-confidence is to affirm yourself, use affirmations. Now, I first learned about this when I was reading Think and Grow Rich when my mother was passing away from stage four lung cancer. And at the time, you know, I'm dealing with, you know, losing my mother, someone that's always been my rock in my life, you know, the only person that's really been there for me through thick and thin, through everything that I've been through in my life. and as I was reading this, you know, I'm feeling crushed because I'm losing my mother, but I'm reading this and I'm learning about these affirmations and I'm telling myself every single day, I'm gonna make it through this, everything's gonna be okay, I'm gonna make it through. I'm constantly telling myself this over and over and over. What this does though, it, it really builds confidence in you in the fact that we tend to believe what we tell ourselves constantly or what we get told constantly. So if you're constantly telling yourselves uplifting things that's gonna help you get through a situation or help you rise above certain situations, you're gonna tend to believe it. And what it did for me, you know, yeah, I was crushed because I lost my mother, but I was able to get through it and it helped build my confidence up moving forward. You know, yeah, I'm sad and I miss my mother to this day, but you know, I had the confidence that I'm gonna be okay and then I'm, that her memory is going to live on with me and I'm going to pass it down to generations to come. Affirmations are a powerful tool to install beliefs in us that we didn't have before. Another way to build self-confidence is to set yourself up to win. You know, yeah, you want to set big, hairy, audacious goals, but then you want to break them down into little bite-sized goals that you can work on each and every day. A, a great example, in the beginning of this year, in 2017, I started off with some crazy big goals, like I wanted to have a million YouTube subscribers, and uh, I, I don't know if it was a million, but it was like a hundred thousand. It was crazy, you know. And I just started my channel, and I had uh, like two hundred thousand email subscribers. All these crazy goals, making a hundred k a month, you know, uh, just insane, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that, but I didn't break them down into bite size steps on how to get there. I didn't come up with a plan on how to achieve these bite-sized steps and go up the ladder. And it got overwhelming, you know, and through the course of the year, I learned about this. I learned to break it down into smaller goals and to more obtainable goals. Still shoot for the moon, but each day work on the stuff that I can to bring me closer to that goal. And what that did, it took away that pressure and all this worrying that I was doing at the time. And it gave me the self-confidence that, yeah, I might not be able to get a million YouTube subscribers in one day or one year, but I know I can consistently put out videos that add value to people's lives that will eventually get me subscribers over time that will get me to that a million. And the last tip I have for building self-confidence is to take action. Now, I know that sounds cliche when I mean, everybody says take action, but it's true. It really is, especially if you're afraid of something just do it because when you do it you're gonna realize that hey you can more than likely do it and if you didn't oh well because you're gonna realize that what you were afraid of really wasn't that frightening at all it was just the fear of the unknown and a good story of, of this was I was able to propose to my wife at a company convention when I was in network marketing and back in 2015 at the MGM Grand Las Vegas in front of 5,000 plus people Zach come on out here Let's talk about Zach for a second. Zach's a 5K from Missouri. And at the time, I didn't have any experience whatsoever in public speaking, yet I'm getting ready to speak in front of 5,000 plus people and tell my story and then surprise my wife with a proposal. For Mr. Zachary Babcock. And Stephanie, sorry. 
I was scared to death, didn't know what the heck I was doing, and there was a lot of people watching me, and it was, it was very frightening, but I did it, you know, I just went through with it, I went through, I gave it my best, the speech sucked, alright, you can actually go check it out, uh, I'll leave a link to it, but uh, yeah, the speech sucked. But I got to propose to my wife. I've been able to do some amazing things. Uh, I'm able to, to provide for my family now, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm able to be there. I, I, I got to watch a great man, John Pearson, pack his bags from St. Louis and move out to Utah, you know. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm able to do things like this. Will you marry me? <laughs> and now I have a memory that's going to last a lifetime. And how many people can really say that they got to propose to her wife in front of 5,000 plus people and surprise her? It was pretty cool and it gave me self-confidence moving forward now to speak in front of other people without that fear you know uh, yeah you still get those jitters every time you speak but I had that confidence now to get up and speak whenever if that video helped you in any way shape or form and you want to watch more videos about self-confidence check out this playlist right there share this video on Facebook and if you know anybody that's struggling with self-confidence or that is really passionate about the topic Please share this video with them and if you want to reach your potential and crush your goals start right now by hitting subscribe and tap the bell notifications that way you don't miss anything thanks for watching see you next time